All right, thank you very much, Leanne. Well, time now to bring you your sports news, and this bulletin is going to be focused all on the Commonwealth Games. It all gets underway tonight, where South Africa's athletes will be competing for gold. The SABC2 channel is your home for the Commonwealth Games. For the next 11 days, 71 nations battled out over 17 different sporting codes. Team South Africa have been set a very stiff target. 43 medals is what Saskok President. Gideon Sam said that he would like to see Team South Africa attaining. They, of course, won 33 in the last edition of the Commonwealth Games in India four years ago. Now, in studio, we have the GM of SABC Sport, Diane Rima, to chat to us a little bit about the broadcast. So tell us what viewers can expect on SABC2 over the next 11 days. Um, viewers can expect a, a very fantastic production. Um, we've got Sunset and Vine producing it for the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Um, we're going to have the opening ceremony live tonight. And then from tomorrow, we're going to have an hour's package from 10 to 11 of highlights of what they may not have seen the night before. And then from 11 until 2, we are live with the heats. And then in the evening, what we will do is opt in for a gold medal or a potential medal. We'll opt in live for that and interrupt the current programming. And then at 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the morning, we will then have uh, delayed highlights and live of the day's events. All right, so uh, Glasgow, Scotland is an hour behind South Africa. Now, it traditionally works so at multi-sport events that you have in the middle of the day, you have your heats and then the finals in the evening. Yes. So what you're saying for some people who don't necessarily know television jargon, this opt-in, opt-out, you're saying that the viewers are not going to miss a gold medal performance or a silver or bronze. That's basically what we're saying. Um, is that our editorial line is that every South African should see every single medal. So that is a tall order, but we are going to do our best to make sure that the nation doesn't miss out. It is certainly a tall order with Gideon Sam saying that he wants 43 medals from a Team South Africa. There's over 180 athletes that are representing Team South Africa there. So will there be any other interruptions to the usual SABC2 programming? And how did you guys go around that to fit in the broadcast of the Commonwealth Games? Well, the sport broadcast, um, you know, we, we know about it four years in advance and we know the dates. So we do plan for it. And we confirmed in January how we were going to cover it. And we've planned accordingly. Um, we do have a, a, a small team in Glasgow to bring the, back home those interviews with players, uh, uh, medal winners, um, coaches, that sort of thing. So um, it takes a lot of planning, but... I think we've got it right. All right, so I am going to be one of the anchors along with Kaz Naidu, Andile yes. Ngube and Koli Zondo. Yes. Tell me about the analysts. How do you choose analysts for such a variety of different sporting codes? Because you have things that are not necessarily on the Olympic program, things that are traditionally Commonwealth Games yes. events like netball and yes. lawn bowls. Yes. What we've done is we've looked at whoever's left in South Africa, because most of them are either team coaches and they go overseas with the team. We've looked at whoever's left in South Africa and chosen the top coach or um, player that can come and represent South Africa or an injured player that can come and speak to us and explain m in more detail about what, what is actually unfolding in Glasgow. Diane, thank you very much. It's been great having you in studio here on Morning Live. That is the Commonwealth Games broadcast. It all gets underway tonight, 10 p.m. South African time. And SABC2 is where you won't miss a single medal performance from a Team South Africa.